Farm animals deserve, at a minimum, proper food, water, and shelter. While seasonal weather extremes are inherent in farming, there are many ways to protect farm animals from severe weather. But tragically, millions of farm animals in the United States are denied such protection. A great many animals uh, have suffered from these weather changes in weather conditions. Animals have died with blizzards, they've died because of intense cold, and they've died because of intense heat. In 2013, Winter Storm Atlas ripped through South Dakota, killing an estimated 70,000 cattle. We go from everything from drought to um, flooding, extreme flooding, extreme heat, extreme cold. In 2015, Winter Storm Goliath killed roughly 40,000 dairy cows and calves in the Southwest. Most of these animals suffocated in the snow. Tens of thousands die agonizing deaths every year, freezing in winter blizzards or dying of heat stroke in summer. Cattle are not very well adapted to deal with intense heat and they, they can suffer a lot. They can sweat a little bit, they can pant to try and get rid of the heat, but they don't, they don't stand up to heat well and they, and they will suffer a lot in intense heat. You do hear horror stories on what cows need to do just to stay alive. We should be paying attention to this when we try to farm them, when we, the environments that we put them into are important. These animals are treated as mere commodities rather than living beings who experience pain and suffering. It's very, very sad that a living animal is the loser. The U.S. Department of Agriculture operates what is euphemistically called the Livestock Indemnity Program, which reimburses producers for livestock deaths incurred from severe weather. Once the indemnity is paid, there is no uh, follow-up by the government to see whether or not the ranchers or producers have made any changes to protect these animals from future weather-related uh, deaths. Each producer can receive 75% of the animal's market value, up to $125,000 per year. In the last three years, the government has paid out over 134 million taxpayer dollars. The bulk of this money reimbursed producers for more than 200,000 dead cattle, sheep, and horses. Our tax dollars are footing the bill for negligent animal care. If you're going to use them as an income producing unit, then it's your obligation to take care of them. It's not the taxpayer's obligation. If you're going to have cattle outside, you should be providing shade from the sun. You should incorporate into the environment somehow a windbreak so that they can shelter. You're having a flood, you're having a blizzard, you're having extreme heat. It only makes sense to have a way to protect your animals for those things. I think there's a moral and ethical responsibility for people who care for livestock to treat them with respect and dignity. I've made a decision to do it differently and it's the best thing I ever did. The Humane Farming Association has filed a formal petition with the USDA and is pressuring the department to cease its payments to producers who fail to protect their livestock from severe weather. Cows suffer, chickens suffer, goats, sheep, and pigs suffer. It's not degrees. It's not like, well, they suffer a little. No, they suffer a lot. And we're really good at denying it. It's time to stop taxpayer-funded animal neglect. Take action. Visit hfa.org so we can put an end to this cruel and wasteful program.